Okay, let's rock. Um, this building is on the lands of the Wurundjeri people and we acknowledge them as the traditional owners of this place and we pay our respect to them today. Um, we also acknowledge it takes many hands from our practice to deliver these projects. Um, it's a true collaboration. Pat and I are here today, no project architect. So let's see how we go with the questions. Um, this project consists of, of uh, a much loved building typology, which is seldom seen these days, a corner milk bar with the owner's resident attached. This was Morrie. Morrie lived in the house, Morrie moved next door. Morrie was hanging around a lot on site <laughs> and this is our client. So it was terrific to have him there, but slightly kind of disconcerting at the same time. This was the old milk bar inside, there's Pat. Um, the house is a handsome, but quite unremarkable late Victorian block fronted weatherboard. There we have it. Our brief was for a conventional family home, but our clients had some specific requirements, a very, very large garage and a large productive garden. Large garages and vegetable gardens can be tricky to get looking good when space is limited. So to manage this, we based our design conceptually on the compartmentalisation of space that you see in the Medina of Arab cities. We were greatly assisted in this by the high wall to the side boundary which made up the former milk bar. By retaining this element, which is absolutely impossible to build now with our planning schemes, it was an absolute joy to have this and not have to deal with City of Yarra, um, we were able to organise our spaces into walled zones. The entry courtyard, the garage, and that's a whopper, that's bigger than a conventional double, and the working garden. The arrangement of space is ideally suited to inner suburban sites as it provides outside space which is private, secure and able to be completely integrated with the interior. We were very keen to capture the exciting experience of threshold that walled cities provide and the emphasis on the street door, in this case under the awning of the old milk bar, directly into an oasis. So we always like to chuck in some really early sketch design drawings that we presented. So this green refuge is many things. It's another early sketch a welcoming respite from the street, an ante room to the interiors, and a gathering room for the space, space for the house. Our entry courtyard is simplified and abstracted to intensify this experience. A circular cloister surrounded by a pristine lawn. This was an early precedent image. Vines draped from the veranda edge, which we can only imagine they're not quite up there yet. It's a lovely precedent shot we showed of Amanda Olivers, who was the gardener for this project, what happens eventually. And courtyard walls lined in timber as soft domestic surface and a counterpoint to the external masonry. The social spaces of kitchen, living and dining face north to the courtyard. To the west is the study with passive surveillance behind a small copse of trees, which is looking pretty sad at the moment. We've got a few dead ones in there, but that's the ambition. So in this little early sketch, you can see beside the kind of oculus is really dense, intense, impenetrable, meant to be an impenetrable little garden that will happen in time. To the east behind a large sliding panel is a large garage and off this space, the working garden in a walled enclosure. The large sliding door gives the option of connecting the spaces into a free-flowing manner for a party or closing them down to edit out the less picturesque elements of daily life such as bins, bikes and compost. The five rooms of the Victorian house provide another zone, a private family area with bedrooms and bathrooms, which will eventually be surrounded in a dense lush garden on the street, a green wall instead of a masonry wall. Residential alterations and additions is a fascinating architectural typology and one much loved in our practice. The constraints presented by the existing dwelling combined with local content and the particularities of the client always make for a rich brew of influences. The best results emerge when a concept grows out of a few things, a high boundary wall, a garage, a veggie garden, the idea of a street door in Fez 
and become much more than the sum of their parts. Four minutes. Is it? <laughs> Do you want to jump back to plans or anything? Yeah. Sorry, I just thought you guys probably read plans quickly, so we weren't going to take you on a walk through. It's pretty. It's a pretty straightforward and clear plan. Yeah, I haven't got photos of this, which is terrible. Derek went into a frenzy, but he didn't do that one. I probably should have popped them in. So I don't know whether I've got a pointer. The south-east wall was all existing from where the house was. So by, broadly, in terms of the existing condition, it was quite similar, except the whole kind of... Um, the milk bar was on the northern edge, so everything was built up against it, obviously, and on the south was that garden. So those locations were roughly where all service sat. But the vegetable garden is completely surrounded by wall and open to the sky. And to the south, it's open to the garage. That becomes a big working space as well. They're crazy campers. They've been living in Northern Territory when we were doing this. Uh, actually, possibly some of the nicest clients we've ever had, which made this project just lovely. Um, so they had big rigs of camping stuff that they had to put in there too. So that whole back of house, which seems like the most luxurious thing in the inner city to give that over to that kind of amenity, is pretty, is pretty extraordinary and very specific to them. I mean, you could almost build a small house on it. Um, but to be able to have the purity of that central space, that kind of really intensity around the oculus and the grass lawn, a whole lot of those jobs that you might otherwise have to happen in there could get pushed away to really elevate that to a very simple, strong concept. <laughs> 